In this video, I'm going to explain how you can profit from falling markets using short selling and go through a couple of real world examples. Hello, I'm David Jones and in this latest video with Trading 212 where we, we cut through the jargon of financial markets. I thought it'd be good to talk about the idea of short selling, um, a way of profiting if you think a market's going to fall. Now, one of the appeals of products such as contracts for difference and foreign exchange is you can trade markets in both directions. So you're not just limited to trying to profit because you think a market's going to go up. Let's say you thought the share price of Tesla was going to drop or the price of gold was going to fall off a cliff. Um, you can actually profit from that view by short selling. But I think plenty of people maybe tie themselves in knots trying to understand how short selling works. Um, the easiest way of explaining it you sell first, you're selling something that you don't actually own, and this is the confusing thing for people, uh, and then looking to buy it back cheaper uh, later on. So you're anticipating a slide in price. Let's have a look at the theory, first of all. Let's go through uh, some sort of uh, theoretical examples, then we'll take a look at how it works actually uh, on a trading platform with real markets. Let's start off by looking at what we might call more traditional investing. Let's say the market down here is trading at 100. Uh, so we decide to buy in. Let, let's pretend it's a share, it's a trading at 100p. If we think it's going to go higher, we'd be a buyer. So we might buy uh, a thousand shares at 100p. We're proved right, the market moves higher. Let's say the market moves up to here, and that's 150. So we've bought down here, we've bought a thousand. To close the position out, we'd sell a thousand. So we'd uh, end up with no position, but we've made 50p profit on a uh, thousand shares so in this example we'd have made 500 pounds from the price rising so that's um traditional buy first buy low sell higher but let's look at it the other way around let's say we thought a market was going to fall so let's just change this screen so this is short selling let's pretend uh, we're looking at the market here and it's trading at uh, 150 let's use the same numbers so at 150p we think the market is going to drop now if we think the market's going to drop, obviously we're not going to buy. If we think the market's going to go lower, there's no point in us buying. But what we do in this situation, this is where short selling comes in. So with short selling, we sell first. So we're looking to ideally sell high, sell first, and then buy back later to close. So we might go short a thousand shares at 150 so we are short so we've sold shares that we don't own uh, and it's just something you can do in financial markets we're short from 150 let's say we're proved right and the market trades down to 100p um, so the, the share price has fallen as we expected at 100p we think the market's gone far enough so we close out the short position by buying back a thousand so we sold them at 150 we're buying them back at 100p, so we've made 50p profit per share from the share price falling, which in this example, on 1,000 shares, translates to £500 profit. So we've made money from the share price falling. Of course, if the share price had gone up, because we're short, we'd be losing money. But short selling is a way of trying to profit from falling markets, and in a second, I'll do this on a real market so you'll see how it actually works and how straightforward it is. So there's the theory. Rather than buying low, selling high, we are selling high and hoping uh, to buy low. Of course, if you sell, if you short sell and the market continues going up, um, you're going to be losing money. You want the market to fall, which is why it's sensible to use things uh, such as stop losses to manage the risk. But um, let's look at two real examples. Um, so short selling, a couple of real markets on the trading platform so you can see how straightforward it is. Let's start off by looking at BP. Uh, so the, the UK um, oil giant, here we go, British Petroleum. So at the moment, at the time of recording, the share price is trading up around about £5.29, £5.30, that sort of level. And we may take the view, well, it, it's risen quite sharply over the last month. It's come from about 480 up to where we are now. So it's up about 10% just over 10%. So we may take the view, well actually maybe this, this move has been overdone. So we think it might slip back down to the 490 area. Uh, so how do we profit? Well, we profit by short selling. Let's just bring up the dealing ticket. Here we go. So um, let's say we're gonna do, we'll do a small trade. We'll do 500 
shares or 500 CFDs, I should say, in BP. Because of course, with CFDs, you can trade markets in both uh, both directions. So we're going to sell. So we're opening up the position. I think it's going to fall. Then clearly, I'm not going to buy. You know, if I if I think it's going to fall, I want to be a seller here at 5.29 and a half, and I'm expecting it. Let's say over the next two months to drop back below five pounds confirm sell it shows me how much margin i'm tying up so in this example i'll be tying up 132 pounds confirm sell that's it it's done so now uh i'm short bp so here's here's the trade in my open positions british petroleum 500 cfds sell means i'm short i opened the trade at five pounds 29 and a half the market's currently trading at five pounds 30 and a half because of course there's a spread you know we're always a little bit behind when we're trading because most markets have a bid off a spread there's my margin and there's my running profit or loss so now i'm in this position and um, what i want to happen is the price of bp to drop if it trades down to, to 500p for example i might decide to buy it back so i'm going to make a profit because i sold at 529 if the market continues to move higher then i could take the view well actually i'm wrong and I'll close the trade by buying back for a short loss. But the whole idea is with short selling, we're looking to profit from a market falling and it's just as easy uh, to trade markets short as it is to buy them. Let's have a look at another example. So this is a currency pair. This is dollar yen, zero spread. It's a short term chart, this one. So each uh, candle represents 10 minutes worth of trading. And um, I might take the view. Well, we've seen dollar yen rally over the last sort of 15 hours from 112.70 up to 113.25. So we've seen a 50 point rally in dollar yen. We might think, okay, maybe that move is a little bit overdone. Maybe we're gonna pull back below 113. Um, so again, I don't wanna be a buyer. If I think the market's gonna drop, I wanna be a seller. So let's open up the detailed trade box. Here we go. So it's this is actually a zero spread market with trading 212. So there's no bid offer spread. So I wanna sell. So I click on sell first of all. Um, how big should we trade? Let's do let's do two and a half thousand positions. So we'll do a relatively small position. I think the price is going to fall. Click on confirm sell, and the market. There we go. I'm filled. So um, the trade's gone through. You can see it down here with my little BP trade in there as well. So dollar yen, uh, two and a half thousand. I sold. So I want the price of dollar yen to drop. I sold at one thirteen uh, twenty four. The market is uh, 113.25 uh, at the moment, so it's nudged a little bit higher. There's my margin requirement, and there is uh, my running profit or loss. So now if dollar yen starts to fall, it will start racking up uh, profits here. But if the price continues to move higher, uh, then of course I'm gonna be losing money. As usual, I can do things like place stop losses. So if I think, well actually, I don't wanna sit here and watch this all the time. You know, I can place, place a stop loss by clicking on edit the position. So I might say if the market goes about 25 points higher than where I got in, uh, I want to take the loss. So I can put my stop in at 113.50 in this example, click on confirm, and there's my stop loss guarding my position. So now it's moved slightly in my favor, so I'm up. But that's short selling. It's just as easy to trade markets in both directions. So there we go. When it comes to trading CFDs and FX, um, it's just as easy to go short as it is to go long. So if you saw a big downtrend that was in place and you wanted to get on board that trend, um, you can just short sell. You know, of course, you still need to do the work and figure out, well, is this market likely to go up or likely to go down? But if you have a negative or so-called bearish view on a market, you can profit from it um, by using short selling. That's it for this week, uh, for this week's Jargon Buster. Um, as ever, any questions, if it's not clear, just leave us a message in those comments down below. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up and um, we do lots of different videos throughout the week. So to make sure you never miss out, if you click on the subscribe button there, you'll get subscribed uh, to the channel. But for this week, for me, David Jones and Trading212, uh, we'll leave it there and I hope you have a good trading week.